So this is Aptoid, the third biggest marketplace on Android, over 400,000 applications to download from, over 150,000 dedicated application publishers and users, and over 1.8 billion app downloads. Pretty impressive stats, and not only that, but you can use Aptoid for free. No signups required, and you can download some of your favorite games and applications, just like in the Google Play Store. So to use Aptoid, it's an easy process. Just go to m.aptoid.com slash installer. I'll put the link in the description. Then tap on the install now button. Make sure unknown sources is enabled within the settings of your device. It should be under security. And just install the Aptoid APK you've downloaded recently. Once you open the application, a short tutorial on how to use it will pop up. And when you pass those slides, you will appear on the homepage with the featured applications displayed as banners, applications that are sponsored, categories of specific applications or games you're looking for, app reviews by the Aptoid developers, and some Aptoid publishers you can check out. So let's say you tap on an application to find out further details. At the top, you will be able to see the app version, maybe a green check mark to let you know it's a trusted application. Not all of the applications on Aptoid have this, by the way. So I would definitely recommend trying to download apps with this trusted check mark. And of course, you have the install button on the right side. Now, before you download the application and waste your time, maybe you want to find more information on the application, which is not a problem because you have a video of the application itself. You can have a couple screenshots as well. More towards the bottom, you have a few stats, such as the number of downloads, the size of the application, who the publisher is, and the ratings. If you still don't have a basic idea of what this application will do, you can read a brief description of the application itself. Towards the bottom, you can also view suggested applications and the publisher's contact information or website. If you want to view what other people think about the application itself, there's a tab called comments and you can check out the comments that people have put there. You also have related applications, multi versions of the same application for recent updates. And lastly, you have some advanced specification and permissions for those technical users. It's very similar to the Google Play Store, so you probably won't have any issues navigating around this marketplace. So once you click install, it should be pretty fast depending on your internet connection, and automatically your download manager will pop up to install the app on your phone. That's basically how you download apps using Aptoid. If you have a rooted device, you can also have a feature to automatically download the application without even going through the process of hitting install. If we go back to the home screen, we can check out the other tabs. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory. For example, you have one that's called top. Basically, you have the top apps or the top stores there. If you scroll to the right, you have stores you have subscribed to. Just to let you know, the stores are basically all the applications a user has uploaded to Aptoid. Some stores upload thousands of applications, while others upload less than 100. But all those stores will help you to try to find the application you're looking for. If you scroll to the right again, you will see the updates tab. Basically, it's updates for the applications on your device currently. Then there's something that the Google Play Store doesn't have, and that is a social timeline. So what you can do here, you log into your Facebook account, and then you will have a timeline of previous applications you have installed on your device. Don't worry, logging in will not have the application post on your Facebook page. It will just give you some insight on what apps your friends have downloaded if they also use Aptoid. To be completely honest, I don't really use this tab too much, but it's still need to have. And towards the end, you can view your downloads and track which apps you have downloaded in the past. One of the most useful options for finding a specific application is the search option. You can find a specific application automatically, and if it's not within the application itself, you will have the option of tapping on search other stores, and it will open up your third party browser, such as Chrome, and then it will have you look up the application on their website. So you can download the application from there, and it will just add the store that it got the application from onto the Aptoid application for future use. So that's the basics of Aptoid and how to navigate around it. If you do decide to interact with it more often, I recommend making an account so as to not lose all of your stores you've decided to add and the apps you have downloaded if you decide to switch to another device or format your internal storage. But I just want to make this clear that doesn't mean you need to make an account to download an application on Aptoid. It's just for backup purposes. So I've been using Aptoid for at least three years now, and I've always found this to be a great alternative to the Google Play Store. They always try to update it with new features and content such as the app reviews. 
There's also a feature called schedule downloads to download your applications later on or download them all at once. So in the end, you can think of Aptoid as YouTube for applications. Every user can create their own store, sort of like a YouTube channel where they can upload their own applications. And then users like me and you, basically the viewers, check out the applications that are uploaded. They can like it, comment on it, download it, try it out, share it. And so it's sort of like a connection to YouTube. So definitely give it a try. I'll have a link in the description to download it. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!